story time. I think I'll just tell a little story. I'm going to put some face mask on though, just as a treat, something to feel good while I'm telling the story. I have some, it's from Posh, and it's just a deep cleansing, clarifying, when I go in the kitchen and I get cleaned up, but it smells, oh, it smells good, it smells like strawberries, and it feels good, and I don't do this too often, I know I did that other one, but, and again, I'm a overuser, but I'm going to put this on and just talk. Um, I was 16, was I 16? I might have been younger. Um, and I was visiting my mom. Like I said, I was raised by my uncle. And um, don't judge me how I put this stuff on either. <laughs> I'm not a primper. And this is backwards. But anyway, like I said, my mom was an alcoholic. And uh, well, she's not alive anymore. That's why I say was. But, um, anyway, I was visiting, and, uh, she liked to have parties. She liked to have young men over. I can remember when I was dating one time when I was in California, and she'd get drunk and she'd try to hit on him. And that was like totally embarrassing, but luckily I did have a really um, understanding boyfriend. I mean, a lot of people knew what she was like and stuff like that, so, but she always used to try to, even when I was little, my sister is the strong one in the family. Um, she could stand up to her, I couldn't, and, uh. She would always pick out clothes that were really not appropriate for a young girl. They were too sexy, low cut, stuff like that, sorry. Um, but anyway, I was visiting and um, she was having a party and everybody was drinking, including me. Cause like I said, she didn't care. I, I was just super drunk. And, uh, I mean, at least the guys were, um, pretty cool about, you know, not doing anything stupid or bad, I have to admit that. So, and there was one guy there in particular who was very protective of me. So, um, I know I'm putting this on really sick. It's, and then it's supposed to dry. And then you let it dry and then you wash it off. It feels so good. Oh, smells good. But anyway, um, we were all drinking and getting totally drunk. And um, I'm just gonna wipe my hands off with this. And I, I wasn't feeling that good anyway. So she decided to put me to bed, I guess for a lack of better words, I mean, I was 16, but she went and, you know, I laid down and because she had access to drugs, you know, Valium and Vicodin and all that good stuff, she decided to start feeding me Valium. And being as drunk as I was, <laughs> pretty pink. So as, as, um, she started feeding me Valium. I honestly, I mean, obviously it wasn't enough because I remember probably three or maybe four, but, um, one of the guys, the overprotective, his name was Steve. He came in and he saw what she was doing and he grabbed the bottle through, you know, grabbed it out of her hand, threw it out, grabbed me, 
and started just dumping coffee down me and then he was trying to get me he was giving me something else he was trying to get me to throw up and I mean he stayed with me all night to make sure that I was okay and um, so I mean that was another time I remember when I was little that my mom had often spoke about how she should have had an abortion when she was pregnant with me really made she feel good so I mean you know was she did she know what she was doing? Was she really trying to kill me? I know she had issues, and, and and I don't know. You know, again, I shouldn't be alive. Had he not come in there and intervened, I wouldn't be alive today. I probably would have been overdosed, and nobody would have found me until it was way too late. And it would have been, you know, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, it's interesting how certain things happen in your family or happen to you personally good bad and different and horrific and and how much the human body can endure how much a person can handle um, I know some people don't handle it well but I don't know you know some people and they come through some horrific things and, and they're really awesome helping other people and um, another well, I'll keep this short but I just you know it's just interesting what people go through and come through and, and endure and I know a lot of people have been through a whole lot worse a whole lot more I just, you know, that's just one thing that happened, and I'm just so thankful that there was somebody there to um, bring me through it. And uh, I am going to let this dry, and I'm going to go wash it off, get ready for bed. <laughs> and the funny pink lady. So, um, comment, subscribe, like, you know. Um, give me some ideas how to get this going, get this out there, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good night. Bye.